York woman's pregnancy turned terrifying when she learned she not only had a disabling muscular disease, but her baby was born suffering from it too. Today, Christy Myers has the story of what they did to cure the baby and the unusual treatment the mother had here in Houston that has turned her life around in just one week. I have my husband and my mother help me get dressed every day. Sandra Jonas couldn't feed herself. Walking, talking, swallowing were difficult. My eyes were crossed, you know, double vision. The mother of four has myasthenia gravis, a neurological autoimmune disease that weakens the muscles. She was diagnosed while pregnant. She hasn't been able to hold her because she hasn't had the neck strength. Elizabeth, now four months old, was exposed in utero. Usually babies improve after birth, but Elizabeth got worse. Then doctors realized the problem was the breast milk. Her stay at the hospital became extended because of that. Not knowing so, we didn't know. Once on formula, she quickly improved and is expected to be fine. But Sandra was getting worse, so she opted for surgery to remove the thymus gland, which can help. But New York surgeons told her they would have to break her breastbone like in heart surgery. The thought of having my sternum cut open and being laid up for weeks upon weeks just petrified me. On the Internet, she found Dr. Miguel Gomez. He removes the thymus using a robot that he operates with a joystick. So with three small incisions between the ribs, we're able to go in there with the robot, take out that uh, thymus gland. It's an easier surgery and much shorter recovery. She came to Houston, and one week later, she is stronger, her eyes have uncrossed, her vision is better. I have my wife and my friend back, and, and uh, the, the boys have, have their mom back. So Sandra and Mike head back to Buffalo, and she feels like a new person. It's an incredible and a remarkable improvement that I really thought I could not see the light at the end of the tunnel. Incredible. Christy Myers, 13, Health Check. And Sandra Jonas is looking forward to holding her baby when she arrives home tonight. She has a good chance of going into complete remission and off of all the medication she's been taking. And she wants other people with this condition to know they have a choice when it comes to what kind of surgery they choose.